in 2020 2020 what happened in the industry and then you thought that we need to continue with such staffs what was that thing you observed perseverance hard work determination i've observed that 2020 has been very tough not to only the industry to other sectors across the globe we we've all you know um, seen what corona the damages corona has done to the world and you know before 2020 these guys were organizing shows here and there, making their money, having large turnouts, successful shows. 2020 was not like that. So, you see, to record a song and make good videos goes along with, you know, resources, money. But 2020, no show. Where are they getting their money? But they have been able to release good songs with quality videos for their fans to enjoy. The likes of Fancy Gada, Macasio, Wishchild, um, Fadilan, Double T, Attack Adams, they've all worked hard to release songs, record videos for their fans to enjoy. That is the hard work I've had mine in, you know, their determination, perseverance. And you, you see, they, they have done so well because um, a lot of, a lot of um, sectors have relaxed because of Corona and they are not making headway because of Corona. They, you know, their activities comes to, um, you know, a halt and they could not do anything. But the industry here was still vibing, moving. Everyone was just doing his thing, just that there are restrictions here and there which has prevented them from doing other stuff and activities probably to make money. And that has been the challenges. But if they are going to maintain the zeal, you know, um, the hard work nature they have displayed or exhibited in the year 2020, trust me, they are really going to do wonders in this year 2021 before 2020 we saw what Fallon did a show i was even shocked look at the look look at the the rates the table you know more than 200 ghana cities i think the, the last time i was interviewing him on my show i think he said 300 ghana cities or 200 all right 200 ghana cities and you know even when you go down such some artists get scared to give that rate out because they always get scared the, the question is are they going to get the turnout? Because this money is not easy. So I was shocked. Ah, Fadlan, it has never been done. So how is this guy planning to do that? And I've always questioned that. Ah, this guy waiting each up. No, no, I'm Like maybe I have to ask him the kind of substance he was yeah, taking there. <laughs> but you see, that is that is positive mindset. I I really admire the boy. His spirit is hard working. You see, he came and he had a successful show, massive turnout. After that, look at the streams he had for that particular album. That, that's that's um, Life Too Short album. Look at the, 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 the stream. Now, I was watching, I was I was actually fo following him. That year, he has streamed past Makasu and Fancy Gadam. I think he's, he has a lot of streams. A lot of streams till now than Makasu and Fancy Gadam. I was following all of them. I, I checked, you know, we have to be current. We have to be reading, researching, know, then sit and inform accurately. So I know the guy had, like he had done well in that year. And Makasio Fantigadam, they've done well. We've seen a whole lot of them putting up shows. So I said, Wish Child has done the same. Even, even um, at the latter of 2020, Wish Child did a show at the stadium car park. It was massive. Don Sigley did show at, um, you know, stadium. It was, it was well patronized. I didn't go there. So a lot of people were asking me how was the show. Frankly, I told them I don't know, but no, but, 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 no, but why didn't you? I didn't go because nobody invited me. You see, it's high time we begin to respect each other. You know, it's high time we we start. Um, you know, we, we we start to respect each other in the industry. You know that when you need something, this is the person you're going to. But at some point in time, you make them feel like they are nobody. You understand that is disrespecting. You see. When he was doing his media album listening, he needed great minds to contribute and tell him the direction, how he's supposed to do. And you were there. I, yes, I remember I was sitting with you. You even made more of the comments. You, you see? Yes. And, and I, I, I actually, you know, indulged his uh, attention in certain key things that he was supposed to do. He did that. Even after that, I was still standing there with them. We were having, you know, conversation. How. I supported him. We come talk about the, the, the album before even the album launch. We play some of the songs. We back to back promoted them. 
on the show day and you are expecting me to call you and say oh charlie my 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 ticket or my invite i don't have to do that i didn't call you for the invite you called me to invite me for the album listening you have to remember after that okay now i i saw you know the street guys the slay queens holding media tax i've seen pictures people were complaining media tax what are, are they coming to do post event analysis for them sometimes we just have to be serious yes. that's one thing that is affecting the industry you need the media always it's not about when you use them finish the media is never useless you call me you still need them now after the show is coming to sit on radio and then tell the public how everything went the post event analysis is very much important but i've seen that our guys don't take that too serious because you know when when Macasio for the first time went to stadium for the first time he went to stadium did his show after the show there was no blog about the show fancy get did the same thing mistake no blog about the show we all sat on radio we chastised that and the next their next move it was corrected yes. they even had to Macasio personally i know he would invite mauli david mauli he will invite david mauli from accra he would come other bloggers would come after that they will be hyping the show after that you will get headlines the rest of the world would now see the impact they are all making that has made that has contributed you know to expanding their market share it is always important so you see they have to learn the industry it means, means that his team failed in that particular aspect well let's say maybe they don't know you understand maybe they don't know because i saw that's a lot of presenters that's why sometimes it's good to you know accept critics even if negative in good faith you don't always have to you know lament about critics it is our duty to criticize you don't feed anybody in the industry we are all doing our thing we just have to inform so if we criticize well some people do criticize just because they they want to criticize to expose we don't criticize just for the pleasure we criticize with the mindset that the writing must be done next time and you see when they did that they didn't get the headline for those massive shows they did which a lot of big artists up there couldn't do the next time they they did that they had the headlines we got you know the big stars started you know patronizing tamale we we, we saw stone boy you know organizing show twice shatawale came sarkodie came, came adam came tiny came um the video came they were just coming back to back and you can remember in 20 since then from that particular time from 2016 pansigaram organized his first show that Macasio did there from there you realize that um a lot of guys you know outside the shores of the northern region coming into tamale to organize events and that tells you the power of the media so sometimes if we sit then talk whether negative or positive they just don't have to lament you know some artists would even break ties with you because you have sat on radio and then you know criticize him or her you understand it's, it's very bad and you know me I, i'm that person who always speak my mind nobody feeds me you understand yeah. after all if i speak i come out we meet we are cool we laugh we, we eat love, together yes. that's how life should be you know that's how life is supposed to be so fancy get up sorry i said don't see me that particular move i wasn't happy it was very disrespecting you understand and nobody even bothered to apologize for what went wrong yes. you know, they just but next noise. time when next they time. need you again they would come and talk to you don't did the same thing i sat on radio i gave it to him and he never called me there was a time he called me he needed time i gave him he went he called me again some time he needed time i told him that okay fine i will call you on this particular day he said okay he would come we shared the way i agreed yeah. ah that day i came i was calling this boy he was not answering i call 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 he was not answering i finished the show this guy didn't come up till now he didn't even return the music call that's about two years ago i went on facebook the update i made i made an update that lil k disrespected myself and then my listeners you need to apologize to them if you know you don't have time you should have told me but you we, we agreed you would come now you, you are running away from my course said okay no problem then one boy came commented that he told lil k not to come because i refused to stream live on facebook 
And I was like, seriously? I said, seriously, seriously like, like, like me giving him that opportunity. Myself and him, who is supposed to stream for his fans to enjoy? Then, then I said, okay, if indeed Lil K didn't come because you told him not to come, there is a useless guy. So I, I said, I, I came, I sat on radio, I criticized him for that. He never bothered to call me until he want, uh, my, my colleague Ishmael invited him. I think he contacted Ishmael for that opportunity, for that platform. Okay. Ishmael granted him, he came, sat, he came, I was sitting at the conference, it was on weekend, Saturday. He entered, he saw me, then he came home, oh my DJ, I'm sorry. You see that night, my mother was sick, this, this, that. And you couldn't, you could not even tell me after the show. Yeah. So if we hadn't met, he wouldn't even mind. No, 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 no. That, I, I told him it is not right to do that. Me, I'm cool. I'm cool, but the fact is that I may not take it serious again. That's the fact. Because if you are an artist, you need to be serious. You don't have to always, you know, take people for granted. I told him, you see, they, they just have to learn and they have to accept critics. They need to listen to critics. They don't have to be like, okay, he has criticized me. He doesn't like me. I don't also have to like him. It's, it's, it's just foolishness. Kirasa. Uh, I'm for Omo Castle, oh, yes, 69 present. I'm a 69 present. I've seen that a lot, you yeah, understand? Yeah, yeah. And I've explained that to people off air, people that are close to me. Sometimes I don't bother to explain, I don't owe anyone explanation. You know, we all have friends. And I can tell you that I'm very close to Macasio than other artists. I live in the same area with Macasio. Yeah. I sit with them. I have no friends to chat with. Sometimes I go sit with them, we chat. And Makaso is someone who always would share his flyers and his you know, activities with you on WhatsApp. So with that kind of respect between you and him, he can't share it with you and you ignore. You understand? He would also be monitoring your timeline to see if indeed like you are really you know, answering to his call to support him. So I have most of the artists, their contacts, but how often do they share with me? If you share with me, I have to give you that respect. Yeah. I can't see it and say, no, no, I will not put it there or I will not put it on my social media handles. You have shared with me and I have to do that. I have to respect you. Yeah. My Casio would always share his stuff with me. Mm. Fancy Gadam doesn't share his stuff with me. Mm. Sometimes, yes, but he do doesn't. You, do you have his contacts? I we chat. Sometimes I'll say, hi, what's up? Everything cool. Recently, um, in 2020, I messaged him. I said, oh, bro, it, it has been a while since I engaged you. Yeah. Find time, then come and oh, let's wow. sit on radio yes. and then, you know, we just do some promo. He said, okay, when he finds time, he will let me know. He didn't say anything. I messaged him, he didn't say anything. I am cool with all of them. I, I was chatting with um, his twins, Convict and Zamani. We always tease, tease each other on WhatsApp. Even themselves, they will see me and say 69 king, and we will laugh. I told them that, oh, I chat, you know, I, I had a conversation with Fancy Gadam, and I told him he should come for some promo. It has been a while. Yeah. They said, oh, maybe it's because he's busy. Mm. So they will tell him, they will okay. come with him. It didn't happen. I met Jamal Bamba, we tease, we talk, and I told him this, this, that. It didn't happen. So you see, sometimes eh, you want to help them, but they are not showing up. And mm. people will sit behind and, 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 and let it be like, you always put in my strength to one faction, which is not so. If Fancy Gadam should always be sharing his flyers with me and his staffs, I wouldn't say I won't post them. Sometimes I even see them elsewhere. I'll take them yes. and put them without even the knowledge. Uh, you know, they said 69, 69. I can see it on radio sometimes. And I will not even play Makasio's song for once. I can see it on radio and play Fancy Gadam's song more than I play Makasio's song. There are days I'll sit, I won't play their song, I'll play with Child, uh, Ben uh, uh, Padlan and Linke Attacker them. There are days I sit. You know, I can't I'm somebody who always doesn't want doesn't like repeating songs on my playlist. There are some songs I can play them twice in a week on my playlist, but I always want to change my playlist for people, you know, to enjoy something new. I can't always stick to one playlist. I can play a particular song today. Throughout the week, you will not hear it again on my playlist. The following week, you will hear it. And I can play a particular song throughout the week. The following week, throughout, you will not hear it. I just want to be dynamic. 
it doesn't really matter. Trust me, there are some people who even accuse me that I play Fancy Gadam song more than Makasio. That's um, Gadam Nation. People mm. will say I'm 69. That's so you see, yeah. if you always listen to people, you wouldn't even know what to do. There is nothing you would do just, to please people. Yes. So sometimes you just have to, you know what you are doing is right. You just have to maintain that focus. But uh, she came on video, you did inside. I was inside the video. Yeah. You see, I was Makasi, um, 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 what's his name? Morgan. Okay. Morgan has always been my close party. I'm always with Morgan. Morgan wouldn't see me. He would walk and come to my house. He said, oh, I haven't seen you for the past days. You always come to me. Why? What's up? Every day we will sit and talk. I will accompany him. Sometimes I will walk, go to him. We will be there. We will talk. So, you see, when they want to do something and he tell you that, oh, Ken Hassan, we are doing wow. something. I want you to come around. It's like they believe you. They trust you. You can't disappoint them. You know, even that video, they shot several scenes. The scene yeah. you saw me was was when I just appeared. Yeah, yeah. That time they were shooting that so scene, I was in the studio. Yeah. I just came and that was it. It's nothing. I've ever been in uh, one era video shoot. I don't know whether he has even released the song. I've been in a couple of guys. I know Tamil people, they take notes. Oh, they take notes. Uh, I know what I'm doing. Exactly. You understand? Yeah. Even the artists, none of them can sit somewhere and say, like I'm being biased, I don't so who 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 among them can say that? I've been supporting all of them. Recently I saw fans of Ataka seeing a whole lot of things that he came to your program, he didn't even promote his new song, we we're talking about different how things. Ataka, how can an artist come to my program and I wouldn't play his song? Ataka came to my I saw that comments. You know, at the point I wanted to comment, I said no. Certain things do not really need attention. Because what he said it's not actually factual. Okay. So why should I just bother myself? Nobody. I don't owe anyone explanation okay. on anything. It is my thing. And that's how I do my thing. If it is good for you, fine. If it is not good for you, fine. Attacker, I've been playing Attacker song not today. Me, Attacker and I, we have been close. I'll take my phone, call Attacker. It has been a while. I'll tease him. There is one of his songs that I always, when I call, <laughs> most of the artists, that's what I do to them. Yeah. I'll call you your song i'll just sing a line which yeah. will make you laugh we will laugh chat i've always been checking up on them i'll call attacker i will tease each other attacker called me he said he was happy he wants me to you know have him on the show i said no problem we have been doing it from day one come on this the attacker came you know i'm someone who always downloads songs even some of you don't even give me their songs i'll sit download songs play them without even their notice they will later bring me CD song. I said, I already have the song and I've been playing it. They will even come for interview. I'll play the song and they'll be surprised where I got Very the nice. song. You know, when you enter a studio, you, you know our studio. Yeah. Internet is connected to all the pieces. Yeah. You see it, you are doing your thing. You are just downloading tracks. Till I finish, I'll be able to download many tracks. So Ataka came, we did the interview. Ah, I played the song back to back. We did interview, they did freestyle. Yeah, so we, ah, I was signing out. Then Ataka said, oh, DJ. All these guys, we did, we did, we did cypher. some cipher, and I've not heard you playing the track. And I said, "Oh, you did cipher." He said, "Yes." I said, "Honestly, I didn't know." Then he said, "Oh, I will WhatsApp to you." And I said, "I'm sorry." You know, education. Where sometimes I don't even have that. I can on my data. Messages will be coming. Some will be going down, yes. and I wouldn't have that time to go through all. So maybe that's why I didn't see that. Mm. But sorry, pardon me. What's the title of the song? He mentioned the title. I went to the internet, got the song, and I dropped the song. So after that, I, I saw that comment. that comment. Someone made a post about me, and the guy came there again and commented, "Forget about Ken Hassan. No, he is 69. He doesn't. The last time Attacker came to yeah. interview at the no, show, no, promo, no, so he no said, he said he doesn't even know the song. <laughs> and I was like, seriously, I saw it and I didn't comment on it. Charlie, certain things are just useless to give them attention. Yes, because I know, I know who I am. Even the artist would not boldly tell someone that." No, that guy, he hasn't been supporting me or he doesn't like me. If they do that, trust me, posterity will judge them. Life is just... Kinazan, we are last pair. Last. Last one, last one, last one be this. What's your advice to Farlan? Because he just released a date that you'll be doing a show at the Tamale Sports Stadium. At the Tamale Sports Stadium. Yes. The last time he told me about that. That, that, that it, it's a new year, you understand? We are in 2021. When did he launch his album? That was 2019, right? 2020. 2020. He did live too short. He did it. 2020. And 2021. It doesn't really matter. The last time I interviewed him, it was just recently after he released his song, um, President. 
I, he came here, we did interview, he told me about the show. I always admire the guy courage. I admire his spirit. You see, it's all about believing in yourself. And Fadlan is one artist that has gotten the street support. He always surprises me, honestly. You know, there were times Fadlan would do song, they wouldn't even bother yeah, about yeah, radio promo, me, but yeah. the streets would just be singing the song. If you come on stage, you realize that the people really love it. So it's all about knowing your impacts, understanding, you know, your capabilities, your hard working, you know, Fadlan is actually a good guy. He's a hard working artist. And in 2021, if he's going to do the show, you know, I don't have the, have doubts. Tamali's posted when he told me, I was happy because I've been always saying that this guy Double should step. try there because there. the kind of artist he is now, I don't think there is anything he would want to do and it wouldn't be successful. It's all about believing in you. He has gotten it. He should just do it. And I believe he's going to make it. And if you get the chance to watch this interview, if he comes out with his date officially start promo you should just you know count on me i'm always available whatever kind of help he needs me i'm ready to help uh, you know everyone who is having a dream but Lan is a good guy and i believe the show is going to be successful but i don't doubt it you should just do it 2021 is a new year 2020 has been tough the fans have been yearning for you know shows of that nature and so this is an opportunity for him if he comes early before them it's cool. If they come before him, I still believe he's going to make it. Wow. This interview has been so interesting, trust me. And man, the thing is, I can't say your personality, so I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going but you know, I'm not going to sell it, I'm not going to sell it, I'm not going to sell it, I'm not going to sell it. I feel the energy is you. I want to eat tight. I swear, the chili. Unless it comes, everything make tight. Be ye, be 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 ye. Kakra kakra. Everything is patience, you know. Everything is patience, and everything is going to happen steadily. Once you don't give up, you still keep on working hard, praying. It's just going to break through. Trust me. It's all about working hard and praying. I've wanted to ask you. You have been promoting one particular girl, Nina. Nina. Be like oh. Nina, she's my artist. Hey. Yes, she's in America. She's currently, yes, in America, not in Ghana. But she was in Ghana. I, I have known her for long. And I, I actually even compelled her to come out. I brought her out. I have brought a lot of people out, even with child. And herself, she came here with um, Muda to promote his song. So I was listening to <clears throat> his songs. And I heard the voice. And I asked him, who is this lady? And she was smiling. She was there. Yeah, then yeah. he said she's the one then yeah. i said you she said yes and i said wow i like your voice do you have too. songs he said yes I, I said let me listen to some i listened to her i asked her then why are you not releasing them you know some families don't want to support children with that mm. you know music, music idea. idea i said you come we'll do it i want to bring you out so i took the song i started playing them i interviewed her i got a you know platform Sirama Ato interviewed her before couple of guys but did the same i really appreciate you know some of the guys in the industry are very supportive and i really appreciate that so from there we've been doing it still she traveled and she called me said she still wants to do music and she still wants to wants me to manage her stuff so i said i'm always cool wow. i just want to help anyone who, who needs my help so we just started again and we're still in it all right, so thank you so much for watching this interview. Um, then they didn't go about now. I, you know, can you want to feel the way I'm going to catch on my kind for strength? What number is pass screen model? So I'll call you the delivery one. Then you're free within time. I'm be outside. I'm like, Jeff, I'll come on. Oh, no, I'm not. So I'll come in the gas. Any year, man, which is your man. I'm not. So then they didn't go. I was about not channel. She put up on me. I'm dressing. I'm cool. I'm okay. You know, I'm in channel. She won the ball. She won't in Santa. Can I say thank you so much? Oh, you are welcome always. It's noisy, oh. Ras TV. You are doing. I remember, I remember the first day Kiran San told me to come to Radio Justice. <laughs> eh? That was one of my happiest moments. Because, uh, I mean, I told you, I was messaging, none of the presenters <laughs> mind me. Me I, me, I can't even count the number of people who, who, who came to me and still coming to me. You know, the life I've been through. It has, it has taught me a lot of lessons. Yes. You just have to help anyone that comes your way. Trust me. It's, it's not about today. It's about the future because you don't know, you know, that's one minute you will spend with someone. You don't know how that is going to change the person's career and future. So 
I don't always, you know, like push people. People will be like, like, you know, you don't have to be approached easily. Like your personality, your caliber, what you do. Like people, you know, when was that? That was on Monday. Uh, there is this guy who always follow me online. He even listen to my program online. He always comments. If I'm, on, if I'm not on radio, he will comment on my stuff on Facebook. I'm not on radio, what's up? I'll reply him. He will message me privately. I'll reply him. And he always get shocked. And not only him, a lot of people, if they message me and I reply them, like, what's up? Like, it is not really common. You understand? And I don't see that to be anything. Like, it should be normal. If I'm not here and I'm out there, who knows who I am? Nobody knows who I am and nobody knows what I do. And I can't just be walking and be telling people that I'm this, I'm that. And I don't have to say, you go. I can't, you know, associate myself with you because I'm this, I'm that. We just have to get along with everyone whoever it is whatever comes your way so me i'm always cool you know people people want to get close to you that's why they contact you so why would you always be pushing them away you know we are here people see us to be big the guy i was telling about i call you on my show monday i have a segment of my show i call to check on my listeners talk to them just you know no matter chat, nothing the guy was happy he was telling me that it is it, like it is difficult for a celebrity to just link out with a normal guy and i was like i told him i'm not a celebrity i'm just a normal guy like him it's cool i told him that's my number we can chat always a lot, a lot of guys took my number on facebook we chat they message me i get time for them when i'm free if i'm not free i don't open when i'm free i open reply them it might be late but i have to reply you see life is simple when i go to Kumasi, my guys that we grew up together they will, when I come, they will be like, oh, sit here, or oh, like, you know, like, they just want to give me some kind of, so it got to a time I don't feel comfortable going there. Everyone I go to Kumasi, because Charlie, life will be normal. I'm nobody. We are still cool. It's, it shouldn't be so. We must be cool, relate cool. I'm nobody because I talk on radio. It's nothing. There are people who speak on radio and, are, and they are hungry. Yes. You understand? So for life, it should be simple. Yeah. Don't allow anybody's opinion to become your reality. You have got that solution to your problem. Just work at it. Pray. Misha comes out harder than our life. And then I will go out Allah. So Misha, I'm going to go to the right path. Choose the right path. Because Misha comes out harder than our life. I want to say a big shout out to my team, Bukara Ayuba. He has been doing so well to the camera crew and to all the guys who have been supporting us on social media. I can't mention your names. Osman Basha, Ibn Hassan, Mr. Zini, DJ Zola, to all the presenters, Mr. J, DJ Crouch, Teacher Onga, Jamini, Jamini. I want to thank you so much. Thank you so much. You have been supporting. Like, we are grateful. They were not easy. Can I ask my mama or support at the pop? Yes, so now I'm so, you know, we are going to be interviewing DJ Zola. You know, we're talking something different again. So just smash the subscribe button. Cash share the video and let everybody watch it. Then you're a business camera. Come on, let the quality on top. The numbers are on the screen. Just contact us. We are always open to work with anybody around Tamale. We are there to push. We're going to project and promote Northern Ghana. My name is Raswaja. See you next time.